Okay, so this is the, the Power Wheels Dune Racer, which is the um, one that I recommend that you uh, do this modification with if uh, you're going to. Uh, first thing, I will look at the back here. There's a front compartment and this back compartment back here. The back compartment is for the original 12 volt battery, which is right here. Um, as I have in the diagram, you'll uh, you'll see in the at some point in the video, probably the beginning. But um, I got this extra connector that plugs in to the battery from the car. This one is the original one. It's easier to just cut these, you know, splice them, splice the wires that you need onto this. Um, but then you're you're changing the uh, the factory makeup of uh, the vehicle, so you know, voids warranty and all that stuff. Um, well, I mean, technically doing this uh, this modification voids warranty as well, but you know what they don't know won't hurt them. <laughs> So, I've got, you can see the minus is the black, the uh, po positive, you know, the negative is the black, the positive is the white on this. Um, you've got uh, this coming out, this is the negative, that's going to be the negative side of the, uh, the circuit over here going, going off that, that way. And this, the positive side, as you can see, I've got this little doohickey here. This is a an inline fuse. Uh, you get this thing that you wire into it, you splice into there, uh, and then you put whatever fuse you, you select um, in there. This is a uh, 30 amperage fuse, and again, this is on the positive side, as you can see. Positive. And then, so, okay. If you do it my way, you will hook the positive of the the regular while I just, I just stuck uh, the stranded wire right in there. Um, you'll hook the positive to the positive terminal of this plug, the extra plug that I got. Uh, and the negative goes to, again, yep, the negative side of the circuit. So, I ran this. I was going to tack it down somewhere, but I decided really kind of against it. Because it, it stays pretty well by itself. So I ran this underneath. It goes under here. It actually sticks out underneath the seat here. Pulled it out that way through there there are these little drainage holes in here so I put it in that way it goes up underneath around here and again this is the positive side of the circuit so again the positives are gonna be hooked up to um, the positive this is a three-way splice um, both positives of both of these batteries are going to be also connected with uh, 30 amp fuses you want to make every single positive terminal of the battery every battery uh, to be uh, you know to have a fuse disconnect um, so that they uh, if anything goes wrong at all it's you know it's not gonna hurt your kid because um, I'm not riding this thing so these are the two battery connectors again these are the the, the positives you gotta find which one is the positive on these and which which side is the negative sometimes it's a bit tricky uh, sometimes you can just you know look at the battery which is clearly marked and which connector which side it connects to uh, I put a uh, black here for the a black piece of tape to indicate that it was the positive side and the black was the negative so okay I'm not sure how clear this is gonna be but again positive wire going to split off to two positives of both the battery connectors here and then the negatives of both batteries are spliced into one wire that goes, runs back again underneath, through there like I did behind the seat, underneath there, coming out here to the negative side of the battery. Again, negative, right there. That's pretty much all you need to know. Um, I got one battery that has a, an extra fuse in it as well. The, the battery is fused. So I have four fuses in the circuit. It's a very, very safe thing. If anything goes wrong, it's just going to stop working uh, instead of blow up with my kids sitting on it. Uh, I put a, uh, a bicycle um, cup holder on it because she used to like to, before I made this change, she used to like to uh, put a drink up in the front while we went out. Uh, I still want her to have the drink, so I put the drink, drink holder on there. Okay, so um, these wires are stranded wires uh, instead of solid. They're a lot easier to work with and they're a lot easier to splice together if you don't know what you're doing. So I'd recommend to do that. Um, the solid wire would uh, stay in place better after you set it all up, but it's harder to do so. So again, I would recommend for any beginner especially to go with um, stranded wire. This is a 14 gauge 
uh, AWD. Um, you can go any any size larger than that you want, but I wouldn't go any smaller than 14, even though it's kind of a, a smaller circuit. Uh, I just, you know, again, you want everything to be safe and strong. Uh, I put these stick-on uh, reflectors uh, on the the backs and the the side there. It's just so better safer riding at you know twilight or whatever. Um, I had glued some uh, flashlights up to the front here. Um, four flashlights but they fell off. I need to get better epoxy for it. Um, Shelly! Shelly's here! Shelly's here! Shelly! And uh, yeah, that's, I guess that's it. Oh, also these tires, um, they, uh, this, this, these have lasted quite a bit, actually, surprisingly, and she does uh, power slides all the time, so she grinds these wheels a lot, and they still, uh, they're still they still pretty good. We've had it for quite a while, uh, over a year. Um, uh, I was planning on putting, uh, getting some bike tires and cutting off the edges and putting the, just the, the tread over these tires, because I, I saw it in another person's video, um, but it would, which would give it a lot better grip for like off-roading and stuff, it'll go on grass a lot easier and sand and everything, but she wouldn't be able to do the power slides like she likes to do, so we're gonna hook this up and uh, let her drive off, I guess. I used a good amount of extra wire just to make sure that uh, when I was doing everything right, if I messed up, then you know I'd have enough room to, to correct my mistakes. Um, it does take, if I, was, if I had two hands to do this, it would be a lot quicker, but Okay, so we got in here with the extra wires and stuff I had. I plugged in the battery here with the, the additional plug. And this is the original plug over here that I had taped up, uh, rigged up and everything. You don't have to do that. It, it, it's a lot easier actually if you just use the original and not this extra thing. But again, it's uh, keep it um, you know down to the, the, the way that they built it in the factory. Um, I added that extra thing so I didn't actually have to change anything about the wiring so they wouldn't be able to tell that I was doing anything. But, uh, yeah, so you make sure that's off to the side so that stuff will fit back into place. And there you go. You want to show the audience what you can do with this? Okay. Your power slides and stuff. So this is a 12 volt vehicle that um, I have made 18 volts. Uh, you can also switch it to make it 24 volts, but it would be a lot faster. But I wouldn't recommend it because then it's just gonna kill the motor in like two more, two or three months. All right. <laughs> so it's not super fast, but it's a lot faster than it was. She's had a lot more fun with it since I did, I did this to it. Was that fast mode? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she likes doing that. So before the uh, augmentation before the modification it's uh, I think five miles per hour at the top speed uh, with the modification here at the top mile per hour, it's, it's basically like eight miles per hour so it's not a very big difference but it, I mean it's a big difference to them they enjoy it a lot uh, if you upped it to 24 uh, volts it's gonna be um, 10 miles per hour which is gonna be really really fast for them and they're gonna have again a lot of fun with it but it's gonna kill it really really fast so to make it last a lot longer uh, you do that thank you for your help with the video say hi YouTube bye YouTube hi YouTube bye YouTube